Now, this is a more common one. We rarely see many examples of separating solids from solids, but now we have separating solid from liquid. This is quite easy. So filtration is a common method for removing soils from fluid streams. So, oh sorry, solids from fluid streams. I misread that. Filtration is very easy. You're relying on the particle being not soluble in the liquid and then letting the liquid pass through the filter whereas the solid gets stuck, okay? Similar to filtration in the, uh, si similar to sieving, except one of the substances is now liquid. That's the only difference. So the property here is that it's insoluble. The solid is insoluble in the liquid. That's our property that we're exploiting here. Now filtration uses a fine mesh to allow fluid particles to slip through while blocking the large solid particles, okay? So that's what we're doing in filtration. And I'm sure you've got water filters and things you've seen, pool filters, and that basically is how they work. So we commonly see this process being used in water purification to remove large particles from the water stream. Often it's done with sand or carbon as a filter. So these are very nice filters. They work very well and they actually remove some bacteria and things as well. So they're very, very good for filtration purposes. Now another way to do this is through froth flotation. Froth flotation can be used to remove solids from liquids as well. And we use it in mining to remove minerals from waste rock. Mineral refining is we dissolve the rock in some kind of chemical and then we actually try to remove the waste or we try to remove impurities because the impurities dissolve whereas the metal stays as a solid. So the metal will be the solid in the liquid and all we have to do is get that out because we want that. So crushed rock mixture is placed in a tank of water, detergent and some oily chemicals and air is pumped through this liquid forming a froth. Minerals adhere to the froth while waste rock does not. So the waste rock kind of just falls away to the bottom. And so the minerals actually accumulate at the top. Then the froth is scraped off the top and the minerals are extracted. Okay, so basically what happens is we crush the rock up, the impurities, the rock are all thrown into water. You bubble air through the water and that forms bubbles. And the minerals actually adhere to the bubbles and come to the top, as you can see in this picture. And then you just scrape the top off to remove the actual minerals. And then the waste just goes away, okay? Assess the use of filtration to separate sand from a mixture of sand and salt. Okay. So we've got sand and salt mixed together, how can we separate them? Well this procedure won't work unless water has first, was first added to dissolve the salt. Okay, so we won't be able to use this unless we add water to this mixture to dissolve the salt. If solid sand and solid salt were mixed and placed into a filter paper, neither would pass through the filter so they won't separate. So it's just going to sit there in your filter and do nothing. Now, if we add water first, the mixture, and then stir the mixture, and so fully dissolve the salt, the filtration would be very good because it will be able to separate the, the sand from the salt and then just evaporate the water and you'll have you know, your sand and salt. So that will work. Sand is insoluble in water, so it won't collect in the filter, so it would collect in the filter, sorry, um, as residue, while the water and salt mixture would just flow straight through. Salt is soluble in water, so it would pass through the filter as the filtrate. To improve the accuracy of separation, the residue in the filter paper should be washed with lots of fresh water. So because some of the salt water can get stuck in the sand, we want to make sure we push all of that salt water through the filter, so there's none left in the sand. So that's just to improve accuracy. The salt crystals would then be recrystallized by evaporating the water. Okay. So that's how we could use this filtration to separate sand and salt mixtures.